the standards were uh, developed by a wonderful group of um, individuals in the measurement field, headed up by Lori Wise and Barbara Plake. We identified five areas um, that were part of the charge to the Joint Committee for Revision. One of the areas was in fairness, trying to um, identify a way to make the fairness issues with, associated with testing more prevalent. The second area was technology. In this day and age, we are advancing um, the use of technology in design scoring as well as reporting. The third area was in accountability, not necessarily addressing specific issues with accountability, but addressing specific issues with assessments and how they can be used for different accountability purposes, such as school accountability, state accountability, as well as even um, educator effectiveness um, purposes. The fourth area, um, and it's a, a fourth substantive area, is to deal with work place and credentialing testing. In the 99 standards, there was two sections for workplace and credentialing testing and try to integrate the two, which they did so successfully as well as the other areas. The fifth area is more of a um, organizational area in which thinking about how to make the standards more um, prevalent and try to think of ways to organize the chapters um, in a different fashion that's easier to the user. So for example, in the reliability score precision chapter, which is one of the foundation's chapters, they are grouped in different categories. So one category might be standard error of measurement, another category might be decision accuracy, so that there's some kind of meaningful organization for the standards. In addition for the foundation chapters, which are validity, um, reliability score precision, and now the new fairness chapter, um, which was brought into a foundation chapter. Um, they I begin with an overall arching standard. So that's one implication that users can look at that fairness um, chapter and find meaningful information in designing tests, in using tests, in interpreting test scores. Another implication I think has to do with technology. There's a rise in the use of technology for the design of tests, for um, analyzing tests, for score reporting and then analyzing um, student responses um, with automated scoring, for example. So I think with that increased use, there's additional guidance from the standards in best practices. Policymakers um, tend to gravitate to tests um, to make all accountable in the educational system. So I think that is a large emphasis within the standards today. How do we use assessments best to um, meet multiple purposes, accountability, at different levels as well as instruction. The use of technology is rampant in the research area. It's becoming rampant in um, testing research projects um, done at ETS and other organizations. And the standards provide guidance on best practices when using technology, technology for design, for scoring, as well as for reporting.